Hey there. I wanted to talk to you today about your experience, maybe, maybe watching videos like this, maybe your experience of um, realizing that you had been in a cult, or that maybe you're not comfortable with that word just yet, but you feel like maybe you weren't living the truth that you thought you were living. And, you know, as somebody who went through that very, very recently, I have to say, not every day is my best day. Um, I feel pretty good today, and most days I feel pretty good. But that wasn't the case a year ago, or even six months ago, or, you know, on some days not even a month ago or a week ago. And that's so normal for us to go through those times where we think, I'm losing my mind. And that's not always a bad thing. The mind that we were programmed with, or the, the way that we had had our minds programmed, um, was not real. And so it does feel um, scary and sad. And sometimes you feel you know, a little bipolar. And that's a, that's a clinical diagnosis, but I will tell you um, that this thing that happens when you break free of a high control group um, feels that way. There's some days that you feel like, I'm so grateful to be out of that. And then there are days that you feel so alone and you feel so broken and so sad and angry and all of those are human emotions and there's nothing wrong in fact it's really healthy to experience those emotions in a safe place and so who do you have who can you reach out to i will say if that's you and you're going through this please contact me here on my page um, I would love to hold your hand on those days that you were going through a really hard time. Of course, I can't really hold your hand because here I am in YouTube land and there you are over there. But, but really, sometimes you just need to know that someone is sitting with you in that really painful place. And there were people that did that for me. And then there were times when there was no one and it was just me in my head and my memories and my thoughts and it was terrifying and there are days when you really think I'm never gonna come out of this and that's a normal thought too so I got to thinking about it and I thought you know isn't it interesting that in life things don't stay the same if your life is the same and every day is the same something ain't right. The sun goes down and the sun comes up. There are four seasons in the year and in most places those seasons are different. We're in Texas so we kind of have like really hot or really cold and then just a day or two of in between. But, but, um, but we do have change and there's sometimes when it's so alive and so beautiful that it just makes you catch your breath and sometimes it just looks dead and it's cold and it hurts your bones and it hurts inside your veins and you think, ugh, it's never gonna get better. But the truth is, it, it will. It will get better. You just have to hang in there. Um, and it's a little bit like your heartbeat. You know, if, you're, if you look on a cardiac monitor, there's a downbeat and there's an upbeat. And neither one of those is more important than the other. You've got to have the down and the up. If there's something wrong with your down beat and it doesn't go all the way down, you're not perfusing the oxygen to your organs that you need to. And so, friend, you're going to have down time and that's important to just allow that down time to come. Just know that there's also up that's coming. And my channel is called Mildred Willow Life Doula. 
because I am and have been a birth and postpartum doula for decades now. I can say it, decades. Um, and I've walked through really painful and scary situations with families as, as they were going through a metamorphosis of becoming parents. And, you know, I always thought, I wish there was something that I could do for people that are going through what I've just gone through. Um, and I'm still going through it. It's a process. I'm always going to be somebody who went through that thing. And there'll be times when I'll be down. But you'll be there for me, or someone will be there for me. Uh, some of the reason that I'm recording this is journaling my experience and knowing that sometimes I need to talk nice to myself about myself. And you need to talk nice to yourself about yourself too. And when you can't reach out, there's a lot of us out here and we do care. We don't care because you wear a certain label or that you've put in a certain number of hours doing a certain thing, that a prescribed thing that you're only acceptable or good if you did that thing or did enough of that thing. Ugh, that's not true. We're here for you just because you are a being and we're all beings, so. Thanks a lot for just hearing me and if this made sense to you or um, somewhere, you know, touched your heart, please let me know. Um, this is a brand new thing for me and so your comments mean a lot to me and like and subscribe, please. Um, the next sto piece of the story is coming up if you haven't caught up. Um, the first video is just me sticking my toe in the water, but the next two are part of my story, and um, part three is coming up, the first shunning. See you there.